Frame freeze, also known as hit stop. Freezing time right at the moment of impact for more dramatic effect. This is a special attack without frame freeze. And this is a special attack with frame freeze. Today I'm gonna show you how to do frame freeze in Godot using only 4 lines of code. Make a new function inside any script. In my case I'm going to do it inside my player script. The function will have two values, one for time scale and one for duration. Inside the function, type engine.timescale equals timescale. On the next line, type yield get tree dot create timer, then pass in our duration multiplied by the time scale, and signal timeout. Yield is used to stop the function execution and returns the current suspended state to the calling function. I'm not going to pretend to fully understand this, but most probably you're just going to use it the way I do, which is delaying the next line inside the function by a set time period. In our case, it's going to be the duration, but we have to multiply it by time scale, because remember, our time scale will be much smaller. So if we, for example, put 0.1 on the time scale, then that means a 1 second duration will take 10 seconds to execute. So after this, we just set the engine.timescale back to 1. And we're done. Simply call this function whenever you want to freeze time. For this example, I'm going to call it whenever the player gets hit. I'm going to pass in a value of 0.05 for the time scale, which is technically just a super slow-mo, but it's so slow it looks like a frame freeze anyway, and a duration of 1 second. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Alright, it works. Obviously 1 second is too long, I just put 1 second so we can clearly see the effect. For my actual game, I use values of 0.1 time scale and 0.4 seconds duration. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Check out our game Polaris, we're going to release the demo next week. Smash subscriber, I'm gonna smash your mom.